I'll talk now this morning with State Representative Holly Rashine. Holly just wrapped up the spring session of the Florida Legislature. Now it appears to have been a very productive session. Holly saw a number of her goals come to fruition. She'll give us a wrap up this morning. Holly, it's a pleasure to have you back on the show. Thank Good you so morning. much. Good morning, Jenna. It's so, so nice to be home and, and be back. Well, congratulations on a very successful session. Holly, the number one thing I think you would agree is that you were able to secure $50 million in wastewater funding. Tell us about that. Thanks so much, Jenna. And as you know, and I've been on your show before, and we've talked about how important this next $50 million is for the Keys. And through tremendous teamwork from Key Largo to Key West, we were able to uh, convince both the House and the Senate how important this, this funding was for our community to help complete the unfunded state mandate to completely sewer the Keys. And uh, it took months of uh, preparation, um, lots and lots of hours of hard work, but uh, like I said there was a really great team in place mm -hmm. and uh, come the uh, final week of session we uh, we were able to get it into the budget and I hear that the governor is going to sign it so it, it was just tremendous well great congratulations on that Holly give us some more highlights of the budget sure thing um, obviously this year was an excellent year for the state budget we had a little more flexibility in how we could spend taxpayer dollars and actually uh, one of the first things we did were um, put into to uh, implement some tax cuts. So I'll look out for those to come down the line. Um, I think back in 2009, the legislature upped the fees for licenses, boat registrations, vehicle registrations, trailer registrations. Um, almost they, they doubled the cost. Well, this year we actually took those costs and those fees down to the uh, 2009 level. So you're going to see everybody starting in September are going to be uh, seeing a giant cost savings when it comes to uh, registering vehicles and things like that. Um, another uh, tax uh, cut we uh, we implemented was the hurricane preparedness um, tax holiday. So any kind of holiday, or excuse me, uh, hurricane uh, supplies, gas tanks, flashlights, generators, anything that could be considered, uh, you know, preparing for a hurricane, those are going to be um, tax exempt May 31st through June 8th. Uh, also, the very, very popular back to school sales tax holiday is coming again in the beginning of August, right before school starts. So school clothes, school supplies, uh, shoes, and even this year, um, up to $750 for personal computer equipment is going to be tax exempt. And then one more, actually, in uh, September is going to be a, a tax exemption on water efficient appliances as well as energy efficient appliances. So it was, uh, it was a really great year for Florida. Very exciting, exciting news. Holly, I mentioned that you saw some of your goals come to fruition. The last time you were on the show, I think we were discussing Spiny Lobster, and you were able to see that get passed. Tell us about it. He did, and that was uh, definitely a priority for me. It was a priority for the commercial fishing industry. It was a, a priority for Florida. Um, we worked very closely with our state attorney, Catherine Vogel, as well as, uh, like I said, the commercial fishing industry, as well as uh, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, which is the, uh, the enforcing agency. And um, we are really just trying to combat those poachers that come down from other counties and uh, take out of season lobster tail, or they ring uh, the lobster tails on the water um, you know they take shorts uh, we're seeing um, a really a proliferation of these offenses and so what my bill um, does is stiffens the penalties for these major violations and also increases penalties for repeat offenders those uh, folks that commit these violations a second a third and if they haven't learned a fourth time and that bill did pass the house and the senate unanimously and is on its way to the governor great are there any other specific bills you'd like to discuss with our viewers this morning? Well, there are a whole host of them, actually. I could probably spend your whole hour um, <laughs> discussing them. But another uh, very key specific bill is the Diver Down Buoy Bill. And right now, uh, only a flag, a two-dimensional flag, a Diver Down flag, you know, the red flag with the white stripe through it, is, uh, is required by, by law. And the diving industry came to me and said, hey, we've got this great new invention. It's a buoy. It's a three-dimensional buoy. It's a little larger. Um, you know, we think it's safer. It's more visible. 
other boaters, other divers and things like that can, can see it. Um, and hey, can you know, we have this option. Can the industry maybe have this option? So it does not provide more regulation. It just provides divers and snorkelers an option to the flag, the already, you know, required flag. Um, so that was pretty exciting. Um, it passed again, the House and the Senate unanimously, and is on its way uh, to the governor. Well, congrats on that as well, Holly. Sure. Next month, I'm going to have you back on the show, and I want to hear what's next for you. Well, uh, a public servant's work is never done, Jenna, mm -hmm. as you know, and uh, we, we have very unique needs uh, and, and situations facing the Keys. We still have to uh, keep reforms uh, coming when it comes to uh, property insurance reform. You know, we still have, um, you know, exorbitant rates that, you know, might be kicking people out of their homes. Uh, flood insurance is still going to be an issue for us. While we did make uh, make some strides, there's still a lot of work to be done there. And of course, um, while we did get the $50 million this year, there are still so many needs out there when it comes to our water resources. And we all know how important our pristine waters are to us in the Keys. So I look forward to uh, sitting down with mm -hmm. everybody uh, in the community and, and uh, one, listening to opinions and thoughts of what we did. And again, like you said, uh, what, how do we move forward? Absolutely. I look forward to your return. Thank you for being on this morning, Holly. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.